We've all been there. Millions of tabs open on your browser, multiple windows, drowning in applications, right? So many apps these days, it's crazy. And I don't know about you, but it feels like I'm adding a new app every single day. Well, this week I got the amazing notification about a new tool called Concierge. It is your concierge for your business that helps you integrate all of your applications into one place. Now, the biggest thing here that I found with it so far is using it for your information hub, right? So instead of having to remember, where did that conversation happen? Was it an email? Was it in my business account? Was it in my personal inbox? Was that on Slack? You can go into concierge and ask it and it will locate the conversation and give you everything you need. So it's the ultimate information hub, especially if you're like me and you're using multiple apps every single day. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to askconcierge.ai. You can sign up for free. You will want to upgrade if you're using multiple queries per day, but you actually get, I think, four messages a day for free. So definitely recommend. Now, when you sign up, you are going to want to connect your applications. So like for me, I went ahead and connected my Gmail, Google Drive, Microsoft Outlook, Google Calendar, and my Slack. As you can see on the screen, there are dozens of other apps and new ones coming soon that you can add to really streamline your workflow and create that hub for you. You do also have the ability to upload files. So for example, if you are a author, right? If you're an author, speaker, coach, some of my favorite people, you can upload the PDF of your book and have it loaded in here so you can reference it really quickly and easily when you need to. You do also have the ability to enable skills. Now, these are the type of language models that are turned on for this tool. So for me personally, I went in and I enabled YouTube scripting, marketing plan, sales outbound emails, LinkedIn blog posts, and customer success strategy. But depending on what the scope is for how you're using this tool, there are other things that you can enable so that the model will be able to act in the way you need it to, right? So I'm going to go into this quick demonstration, but I encourage you to go over to askconcierge.ai and check it out. Do also have a full rundown of use cases below this video, so be sure to take a look there. And if you like nerding out on tools, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you see when I come out with new videos. Okay, so here's what I did today. I went into concierge and I asked it to create a briefing doc for the tasks that I need to do today. I asked it to check my email, Slack, and my calendars. Now I do have two calendars connected because I have a personal and a business and you know how things get crossed over, right? So it provided me with all the search results and then it created the briefing document. It showed me who I have that has opted into my new marketing campaign. It outlined questions that came through my email. It then told me what tasks I had for my team that I needed to complete from my Slack channel. And then it showed me my calendar with all the events that I had coming up that day. Super helpful, right? Keeping me organized, keeping me on track. So the next thing I did was I asked it to, I told it I was preparing for a meeting with a client and that I wanted it to find my weekly meeting agenda doc and summarize the key points for the call, right? So this may come in handy for you if you are doing Zoom calls regularly, keeping notes and keeping an agenda. If those are spread across multiple different apps like your Google Drive, calendar and so on, this is a way for you to really stay focused and locked in. At first, you can see here, it actually didn't have access to the document I needed it to review, but I went ahead and made that public on my Google Drive and then it was able to access it for me and summarize all the key points, right? So truthfully, you know how it goes. Agendas can get messy, they can get long. This is just a way for you to really streamline things. And then also, this is really cool, it asks or gives follow-up suggestions. So you can ask it to identify the main objective, you can ask it to create a document that can be used to collaborate across the team and many, many other things. Now, the crazy part about this is it will actually respond for you and there are ways for you to automate your workflow through concierge. Now, I'll be honest, I'm just getting started and diving in on this. So be sure to tune in for a follow-up video as I continue learning and testing with more use cases and more examples for this awesome new tool.